Well, my next video was going to be about welding this panel in. But I made it, edited it, and then decided it's just more welding, it's boring. So there's the panel, welded, job done. I've got something much, much more interesting for you today. Well, the next step in this restoration is to make one of these, or rather two of these, because I believe it's the same on the other side. It's an identical press in each side. I could just hammer it out, but it'd take a while. I mean, I could make it out of three pieces of metal and weld them together, but it's not the right way to do it, and that's not how I've done the rest of the car, so... What I'm thinking is I'm going to make a custom press for it, to use in my voice. It doesn't seem that complicated. I think it'll be easier than trying to beat them out of a piece of flat and quicker as well, because I've got two to do. I've separated it down into five, maybe seven bits of steel that I need to cut and weld together, which shouldn't take that long. That's for each side of the press, of course. I just need to bend three pieces and then cut some angles in some other pieces for these parts and weld them together and then maybe put some bolts through it or something. I, I could pull it together with bolts or big bits of threaded bar or something. I have options. It, it might take about the same amount of time as beating them out of a piece of flat, but the end result should be better. I've made similar small things in the past for doing floor ridges and stuff like that. But they've been semi-universal. This is a very specific single use thing. I don't see me getting much demand for <laughs> making these, but uh, might make for a cool video. So that's what's going to happen. So I've glued some bits of metal together and I've got the beginnings of the male side of the die. I kind of like the way that looks. And if you can tell, that would basically be the underside of that pressing.
took a bit longer than I would have liked, but I'm really happy with the result. It's very professional looking, looks like a panel. The first attempt typically turned out better, but was a bit narrow where the bolts need to be. So that's the replacement. Or rather what it's replacing. This is the mould I made, the dies I made to do it. It's a fairly straightforward shape, mostly just straight lines and angles, no, no compound curves at all. So I was able to make it out of flat plate. And yeah, I haven't used anything particularly special to make this. Um, you could do it with a MIG welder and maybe a oxycetylene and oxypropane torch to do the bending. Looks the part. Almost like something you could buy. And it fits as well. I did have to make a slight modification to the dies. The first iteration wasn't deep enough that way. And after a quick squirt with some satin black, there's a pattern part. It's brought out some of the hammer marks a little bit, but <laughs> check that out. Proper panel pressing dies are CNC machined out of big chunks. A CNC machined out of big chunks of uh, steel, big solid lumps, huge things with many many tons, and that's how you can get all the curves like rear quarters and stuff like that. Obviously, this is much more simple. I'm not suggesting you go and make your own rear quarter dies, but for floor floor pressings and things where there's lots of straight lines and angles and things, it's a, it's definitely a good way to go. Get a much better result and a stronger panel as well by pressing it. If this was a proper production die, it would probably have punches in for the holes and it would have all the little ridges in that I have to put in afterwards. And it would be used on many thousands of ton worth of press which I don't have, I've got a vice and a big G clamp and a hammer. And there we have it on the car. I'm really proud of that. Some of my best work. Gaps are all nice and tight all over. Look prettier before the welding and grinding, but this bit's still original. Oh dear. Original metal finish. Not even been hammered. It's added a lot of strength into the car as well. Before that was on, the, the floor used to flex there. And it's completely solid now. It's taken that structure and merged it in with all the bulkhead reinforcement and everything and soon to be chassis leg. It's added a lot of strength into the car. It was an important piece that it controls the, the flow of forces from an upright position to horizontal position of the floor, a direction rather. But yeah, I really like that. And it's uh, sounded solid now. You can tell by the pitch of the hammer. Yeah, custom pressing on the car from something like that to to that so yeah thanks for watching see you next time